All right, folks, at the gas station as usual because we have a peanut tank. How y'all doing? Welcome back to another moto vlog. Yes, the fun, fun, fun moto vlogs. I miss riding, uh, and we're going to just ride around a little bit here today and have some fun. Oh, my odometer was at 2020 and just moved over to 2021. Isn't that sad? Ain't that just about sad? All right. Nicole's with me here today as well. But we are in a uh, little town called Valrico, Florida. We're gonna ride around here today. And I wanna let you guys know what's going on in my life that uh, I don't normally talk about in any other videos. So should be a should be a good time here today. Hot in Florida, but hey, that's the name of the game down here. It's always hot, man. We are turning right on to Lithia Pinecrest. Pinecrest. Wait for this truck to come by and that other car. Um, we're gonna go north on that. That takes you up towards 60. We're actually gonna get on 60 and take that down. Whoa. That Chevy scared me a little bit there. Just a little bit. But yeah. So basically, I want to let you know, we have decided that we want to live here in uh, Tampa. And, uh, you know, we moved down from St. Louis and uh, we spent two years in, uh, in Orlando. Didn't really care for Orlando. And we're like, you know what, before we decide a different state or something, let's, let's give uh, Tampa a shot, you know? So we ended up giving Tampa a shot and I gotta say, I really, really love the vibe down here. It's it's super nice, super nice down here. So uh, we have decided we want to actually buy a home because you know we moved down to Orlando. We didn't want to buy a house in Orlando. Um, we didn't know where we wanted to live, and uh, now we've you know we've been here in the Tampa area for almost a year, and I got to say that uh, it's. It's, it's enough for us to make the decision that we're gonna buy a home down here. So we're in the process of, uh, you know, we already got pre-approval for the loan. Saving up a little bit more money to have a down payment that I want. We're gonna make a right turn up here. We're gonna go up, up here this way. Um, wanna save up for that. And then just, uh, you know, be ready for 2021 because this year has been crazy man i feel like we've been robbed of our our uh area we're living in now we're still looking in the greater uh tampa area here oh i love the sound of that bike i just love the feel of the bike it's been a while so that's big news for us it's it truly is Slow down for this guy. He pulls back there a little bit still, but it's a 35, we're good. Um, so that is the uh, the plan of action. We don't know where we're gonna live yet. We do have an agent. We do have, uh, you know, everything. All our ducks are in a row. Taxes and all that will be taken care of. And uh, it's it's gonna be a done deal. So we're, we're choosing to make Florida our home. And it's a big deal for us, you know? It truly is. And I'm happy with the decision. Right. Yep, we're gonna be heading all the way north now to Durant Road, and then we cross over, we continue up to 60. 60 is a well-known one that runs through Brandon and goes all the way out to the countryside of, uh, of this area. And that's what we're gonna do today is we're gonna check out the countryside. The country. Piggyback delivery system. That's like those, uh, what do you call it? It's the forklifts that are on the back of the trucks so they can move those containers. Yep, Durant Road. But what a beautiful day. I mean, it's it's hot, like I said, but it's uh, it's really nice. No rain. It is wet season still, hurricane season, what have you. 
and uh, it's just been non-stop with the storms and, and the rain. But it was the same way in Orlando, so we've, you know, we already knew that was coming. So that's a lot of the reason why I haven't been able to get out on the bike. It, it I mean, it rains every single day, uh, right around the time it would be perfect to go riding. So that's the reason why I haven't done a uh, motovlog in a while. And my last one actually was the end of a vlog I did of the uh, sprint car racing vlog. That is the one. Uh, you know what? We'll make a we'll make a right up here. We'll make a right. Um, but yeah, at the end of that sprint car racing one, that's uh, that vlog is where I did a little bit of a moto vlog. Where to go, that way? Turn up here. Every single uh, moto vlog I do, I always get asked the question, hey, why don't you use a Senna or you know a headset or something like that? We have them. The audio quality of talking to each other is just so garbage, it's not worth it, in my opinion. So that's the reason why I don't do it. But we do have them. And uh, if me and Nicole go out, we'll uh, we'll talk to each other on those. But today I'm shooting a motor vlog, so I don't have it turned on. That is the reason why. But yes, I do have them. Nice Tesla. God, I love those things. I do love them. All right, let's slow down. So big news, big, big news is, uh, you know, gaming-wise, simulation-wise, all that. Um, my motion platform came in. So I'll be doing a video on that pretty soon. I want to make sure that I, you know, get everything... Uh, set up how I want it for the video but next level racing uh, along so I bought a couple of their stuff when was that back in uh, a couple of years ago actually I bought two of their racing rigs the smaller ones and uh, then they contact well I you know through Thrustmaster I got a contact through them and they're like hey we would like to send you the GT track and uh, just you know talk about it use it for your uh, your videos and I was like sure I'll do that that sounds awesome you know the fact that I, I get uh, you know these different um, manufacturers that want to uh, that want to send me stuff I, I know it's absolutely incredible I I feel very blessed you know in, in a lot of ways trust me it's it's not like I uh, take advantage or it for granted that's for certain Got this white car and then we're good to go So, uh, Next Level Racing said, hey, uh, we had a motion platform V3 uh, coming out of some, I think it was a sim show or something it was, uh, would you be interested in it and just do a video on it and stuff? I was like, dude, motion platform, are you kidding me? Yes, please. So I, I wouldn't say no to that, you know. So they sent it to me. It took a, a long time. Uh, it finally showed up yesterday. I got it hooked up, installed it. That took about an hour or so. Uh, and that is a horrible mess of something there. I don't know what that is. And uh, it's amazing. I, I did my first stream last night. Uh, if you guys don't know, I do stream on twitch.tv slash jfabiano. I'm terrible at self-advertising myself. Um, but I do uh, stream there every... Uh, Tuesday through Friday, sometimes Saturdays and Sundays and all that. Sometimes. So you can check it out there. But uh, I did American Truck Sim in it, and it was really, really, really cool. Uh, and then I did Dirt Rally 2.0, and that was phenomenal. Now the thing by default is turned down by like half. and. You know, when I got my GT track, I had uh, seat belts that came with it, never used them. I was like, oh, well, what, what do I need these for? With the motion platform, it will throw you out of the damn seat, so you have to actually buckle in, which is really cool. And I know the first thing I'm going to get is people asking me, hey, but does it work on flight sims? Yes. Yes, it does. And there's an actual profile for the new flight sim. Uh, it's already there. So... Yes, there's gonna be some cool 
videos coming our way. Uh, coming your way, actually, I shall say. Yeah, it looks like the skies are starting to tell us something here. Hey, we might think about raining before too long there, Jeff. But it's it's amazing to have it. And with the motion platform, it's one of those things, kind of like VR, where you just don't, you know, if you don't have it, you don't know you miss it. You don't know you're missing it. That's how it was for the motion platform. I was like, I'm not going to get a motion platform, but this thing is really compact, and it, uh, it slides into my GT track. And then from there, it bolts into that, and then the seat bolts on top of it. I'll have to show you that whenever I do a video on it. Um, but yeah, that is, uh, was very surprising. It's a small little guy, but it packs a punch. It truly packs a punch. Got some uh, railroad crossing. These things are always fun. Yeah, these aren't so bad, actually, right here. I've been through this area before on my bike. And it wasn't bad at all. So we're coming along 60. If I was to go left, we'd be heading west into Brandon, but uh, we are not doing that. Instead, we are hanging out over here. Oh, nice Challenger. That's nice. Dodge Challenger. What are these cars doing? They're doing the limbo where they, they're like, hey, who's going to get up there in the middle of the actual uh, lane? And they're like, uh, you doing it? Nope. Because <laughs> they love to do that down here. Where they just pull out in the center of the uh, intersection and, and hopefully, hopefully it stays as quiet. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so that was big news, getting the motion platform. It really was. It was amazing. I was blown away by how awesome it was. Oh, actually, you know what? This isn't our turn. We're going to go to the next one. Um, so that was truly a, a surprise I was not expecting at all all right slow down here we are gonna make our right on Dover Road I love all these little back roads around here they're super nice nobody's coming we got a car coming here nobody coming now though no they aren't Oh, thank heaven, 7-Eleven. But happy Friday to all y'all. Hope you guys are doing well. I truly do. Um, I did, we, we have been actively, now I did tease about it. I was like, you know, we're trying to get uh, BeamNG multiplayer to work. Now we do have, but we've done some tests and we have not been able to see each other in it. But Dave is currently working on that. So Beam NG multiplayer will be a thing uh, coming to the channel once that gets squared away, and hopefully sooner than later, because I'm excited for it. When I jumped into it, man, Beam NG's come a long way. It really has come a long way. Oh, it's nice and cool in this little area right here. And we're going back across the railroad tracks. But yeah, if you continue down 60, that takes you all the way to Lakeland and County Line Road and all that. Really nice. Yeah, see, these are real smooth. I don't have to do the whole stand up. Sometimes you have to stand up when you go over your railroad tracks. Don't have to do it here at all. On Copper Ridge Road. I was saying Copper Ridge Road, but I had a uh, Dire Straits song stuck in my head. But yeah, we just been uh, staying inside and everything's been fine on that end. Uh, you know, I've I haven't put together a house tour of this house because I don't know it's a it's a rental it's not our home but when we buy a home I, I will for sure do that uh, but what I will plan to do before the end of the year um, I want to do a full setup tour of my current setup with all my uh, you know not just the racing wheel and cockpit and motion platform but all the equipment I used to record with now I've changed up everything I do now and I get asked that all the time I moved over to a Go XLR uh, soundboard, and I do love that mixer a lot. Um, and then I just use Shadowplay now to record everything, and it works out pretty darn good. 
I must say, pretty darn good. But I just wanted to check in with y'all, let you know what's going on in my life. We're excited about moving here. We're excited about buying a home. You know, that's a, a really uh, neat step in life is to buy a house. So we're going to find something we want. I want something that has uh, acreage. So we're looking at something in the uh, the western part, uh, or sorry, the eastern part of Tampa that has a little acreage, you know. Because there's a lot of houses in this area here that pop up for sale, but I don't want to live in a subdivision anymore. And uh, you can get land pretty pretty cheap out here. So I would like to have uh, about an acre, but you know, anything slightly under an acre, that would that would suffice. I wouldn't be upset about it, that's for certain. But it's still better than nothing. Right now we live on like a, you know, not just like a quarter of an acre. Oh, there's speed bumps on this road, I remember. I've been on this road before. Um, so yeah, that is uh, that is our 2020 current uh, stuff right now we got going on. Ba boom, ba boom. And I'm excited for the next year. Like I said, I think we got robbed of our year, and, and not just us. You guys did too. Everybody did. I hope you guys were able to get stimulus checks and all that stuff, and hopefully that helped you guys out because I know a lot of you. Uh, are in those uh, in those uh, situations a lot of you guys uh, show up on those twitch streams and we talk about like you know how your jobs go in and stuff like that so if you're one of those people that uh, is uh, hanging on for dear life man hang in there it's uh, it's gonna be over it's gonna be over one day ba boom ba boom Babushka. All right. Well, I guess I'll end things here, guys. I just wanted to say hello. And um, let me know what you thought in the comments below, as always. Uh, right after this video, we'll go right into the merch. We have some new merch coming out really soon. It's Halloween merch uh, that Nicole was working on. And uh, they're, they're tombstones. And there's one that says, uh, I hope it stays as quiet. <laughs> I love that one. Oh, man. But anywho, that's going to do it, guys. I will see you next time. Enjoy your weekend. Take care. I get asked all the time, do I have any merch available? Or when are you bringing back the JF logos and some other fun ones that Nicole has done recently? You can check out the link in the description below, or you can uh, look below the video. And it should be there, uh, so you can go directly to the store. But uh, just want to say thank you all for the support.